it's important to think about which direction you want to mount the motor because you want the connector to pop out of the side. So it's good to just get it on there and take a look. That is how we want to mount it. For the idler, we'll take a bolt and a bearing. It's basically, you're going to mount that bearing so it's floating in the middle there and use a couple of these big fender washers and that kind of keeps the belt in place. Um, because this is wider, we have to close that gap, so we're just going to put a couple of smaller washers in there. So that fits nice. So this is a little tricky. Just finish it off loosely with the nut. It's really not going to go anywhere. Don't don't let crank this down tight. You just want to leave it loose and floppy. I think about the left one. I'm just going to take these out. I don't think I really need to let it slap it off. Right. 
crank down too hard on these, the plastic parts will break. They just need to be solid. It helps to put the grub screw or set screw onto the Allen wrench and then try to screw it in instead of trying to thread it in with your fingers because the thing is so tiny. I've been putting in both set screws. What do you think? I don't think it's necessary. Only one of them is going to bite into the side. Uh, it's important to put the set screw on the flat of the motor shaft. If you spin it around you'll notice there's an obvious flat so you want to Put the gear so that the set screw will bite into the side of it. The flat of this. Um, at this point, there's no point in like super tightening it. Just like get it to the point where it's like on the flat, and then. We're going to have to adjust it slightly left to right after we get the belts on. <laughs> 